Welcome back. 7.30 by our studio clock. Time for us to uh, start looking at what the papers are reporting on today in Cameroon. This morning, I'm going to begin the press review with the uh, Guardian uh, Post newspaper. On the front page of the Guardian Post newspaper of this morning, uh, we read, Camto recruiting opposition leaders to back anti-Bia regime uh, protests. Well, that's what the paper claims on its front page uh, of this morning, the Guardian Post, which we are going to be having up any moment now, I am hoping. And uh, you can go read the details of that story on page three of uh, this uh, Tuesday edition of uh, the Guardian Post newspaper. Still on the front page of the Guardian Post, uh, we read this uh, morning. Blood banks run dry as COVID-19 crisis in Northwest Southwest care uh, donors. Uh, well, that's the situation in uh, some hospitals in the Northwest and Southwest region of Cameroon. And you can go uh, read the details of that story in the inner pages of the Guardian Post newspaper of today. Edison Frundi voted Northwest Chamber of Commerce uh, delegate. And of course, the photo of the new um, uh, uh, delegate of the Chamber of Commerce, of the Northwest Chamber of Commerce, uh, Edison Frundi, is on the front page of uh, the Guardian Post newspaper with the caption, a source of inspiration and hope for Northwest business men and women. Going to uh, the details of this story, well, in the inner pages of the newspaper uh, this uh, morning. Two mechanics electrocuted to death in Marwa. Human interest story. Uh, rather unfortunate that we're learning this morning on the front page of the newspaper. Well, uh, go read the rest of the story in the inner pages of the Guardian Post. And to end with the Guardian Post, a NAM entrance exams result. Well, you can find, uh, read the results in this edition of the Guardian Post newspaper. All you have to do is grab a copy and flip through its inner pages for uh, those names. We are now leaving the Guardian Post newspaper to The Voice. We are now with The Voice, The Voice newspaper of uh, today. And on the front page of The Voice newspaper, the big one for uh, the morning, September 22 come to uprising call triggers a litany of government reactions. And of course, the smiling face of Maurice Camto, uh, president or the national chairman of uh, uh, the MRC is on the front page of uh, uh, the Voice newspaper of today. The details of that story appear on page three of the Voice newspaper. In the news commentary of this morning, we read the Anglophone crisis, Bamenda too slippery. The paper is quoting a U.S. official, and it says struggles to, um, I really cannot see the word, unfortunately, from here, but you can if you go get uh, the, if you go get this copy of the Voice newspaper and flip to its page three. So uh, do uh, the needful. Operation Clean Bamenda, since we are in the Northwest region, has, has Brigadier, or oh, it's a question, has Brigadier General Nka Vale declared victory over separatists? Well, it's a question and it's an opinion uh, uh, poll uh, in this edition of The Voice Chess Paper. Go read the rest in the inner pages of uh, uh, The Voice. UK announces 3.1 billion francs CFA new humanitarian support to Cameroon. Well, that's some good news, ain't it? And the uh, details are in the inner pages of uh, uh, the Voice newspaper. Let's leave the Voice newspaper now and focus on Cameroon Tribune, the lone national uh, bilingual daily. Uh, on the front page of Cameroon Tribune, we're going to focus on uh, the stories that appear uh, in the English language. And I'm going to begin uh, with this one uh, that has to do with uh, business and uh, entrepreneurship. Funding startups, uh, 1.3 billion front CFA raised for uh, health lane. The paper explains the amount was collected recently to finance the health lane project piloted by young Cameroon, uh, Cameroonian Alain Ntef. It seeks to take health care services closer to the population and uh, well I am assuming that on the front page there is the picture uh, of Alain uh, Teff who is uh, uh, piloting this project on healthcare uh, dubbed health lane well go to page 7 of Cameron Tribune to get the rest of that story 
Still on the front page of Cameroon Tribune uh, this morning, we read cable distribution choices multiply. Uh, the paper uh, informs its readers that with diverse offers coming from many operators, the population now have a wide range of opportunities from which to meet their needs. Prices uh, vary from 2,500 to 45,000 francs CFA depending on the operator and services uh, uh, needed. The details of that story you read on page 9. That's interesting because uh, this concerns every uh, practically everyone in uh, Cameroon and well you can go get the details of this story on page 9 like I said these and other stories are uh, in this edition of uh, Cameroon Tribune and well that's how we uh, call it quits in this uh, edition of uh, the press review and Money Cameroon it seems it's going to uh, we're going to have only the first part in the English language we do apologize tomorrow we'll be coming back with uh, more newspapers well Good Morning Cameroon uh, continues now and uh, well let's go get some music and when we come back we are talking more remember that at 8 a.m. Uh, we'll be talking news with Crystal at 6 well. So don't go away. Let's go get some music. Right. So um, that music will be coming up any minute now we just need to give it uh, a few seconds just to remind those of you who are watching good morning cameroon for the first time uh, that we are on every uh, day monday to friday that is every weekday and uh, we are on from 7 a.m to 9 uh, a.m every morning and we talk health we talk politics we talk uh, so social life we talk economy we talk everything uh our goal of course is to keep you uh informed to keep you educated and also entertainer huh? because that is really really very important talking about entertainment let's go get that piece of music Sorry, jump, jump, Madala. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go.